In this video, we'll explore whether it's truly possible to win a roulette using the 11 by 11 streets method with a 211 fold stop loss. On paper, this method boasts a 99.9% .9 winning chance with a mere 0.1% risk of loss. But is it true? Is it unbeatable? Let's find out in this video. Welcome to Ninja Gamblers, the ultimate destination for quality casino content. Here you can find the latest info as strategies for roulette, blackjack, poker, slots, and more. If you want to stay ahead of the game and be best equipped to try and beat the casinos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. In the link in the description of this video, you can also find a link to our Telegram channel where we share extra content that never makes it to YouTube. And you can also find a list of safe licensed casinos we recommend with free money bonuses that they offer. Alright folks, I previously made a video on the 11 streets method, which is essentially the base for the new one we're going to see today. In that video, I said that there is a safer way to regain losses, with a very cool variation called 11 by 11 streets method. And today, we're going to talk about exactly that. We're going to set up a stop loss that precisely allows for two 11 fold setbacks, boasting a win rate of 99.9%. But is it truly unbeatable? Let's see it in action. But before moving on, I wanted to quickly remind you that playing in unlicensed online casinos is risky and can lead to serious legal and financial consequences. Not only is it sometimes illegal to play in casinos that don't have the necessary certifications in your country, but playing in unlicensed casinos can also result in unfair payouts, fraudulent activities and even rigged games that make you lose on purpose. Your hard-earned money can be at risk when playing in such casinos, as these entities are often located in tax havens and can disappear overnight, leaving you with no way to recover your funds. To avoid these risks, we strongly recommend that you only play in certified online casinos that are licensed and regulated by reputable international gambling agencies. In the link in the description of this video, you can find a list of certified online casinos in your country. We have thoroughly checked and vetted these casinos, and we can guarantee that they have the required regulations and are safe and trustworthy. Many of them also offer free money and free spins to new players, so we have created a good comparison of these bonuses. If you want to play with peace of mind, we highly recommend you play in one of those safe brands. Today, I will play a specific roulette, the European roulette from Evolution Gaming, because it has a very important feature that we will need in this game the ability to save bets. You can see in the link in the description which casinos in your country have this specific roulette. As usual, I'm playing on a European casino as I'm currently in Europe, so I will bet with euros, but you can do it with dollars, pounds or any other currency in your country, as long as you're playing on a certified casino. Alright, let's get going. Here we are at our roulette. So first off, to attain this high winning percentage, I must allow for two consecutive 11 fold setbacks. Hence, I inevitably need to start with a small stake, precisely 10 cents and a significant balance, specifically 146 euros and 30 cents, which exactly accommodates the two setbacks. So, we place 10 cents on each set of three numbers, called a street, barring the last one, effectively covering 33 out of 37 numbers. This gives us an immediate winning chance of 89%. Now, to spare us the trouble of resetting the stake every time, let's save it to our favourites, naming it 11 10 cents. That's why I prefer this roulette for this strategy. Alright, let's spin. And we've won, netting a 10 cent profit. Moving on. Oh darn, I forgot to place my bet. <laughs> what an oversight. Let's bet. Kinda crucial, don't you think? Ah, there we go, a loss. Perfect timing for me to show what we do when that happens. Upon a loss, we 11 fold our stake on each set of 3, effectively placing 1 euro and 10 cents on each street, summing up to 12 euros and 10 cents. This brings back our juicy 89% winning chance at the first setback. If we win, we've recuperated our initial loss. Let's also save this bet to our favourites for easy recall. We'll name it 11, 1 euro and 10. Let's spin and we've secured 13 euros and 20 cents, thereby making a profit of 1 euro and 10 cents, precisely what we'd lost in the previous round. And we had an 89% chance of hitting it. Now, after a win, we always revert back to our base bet, 10 cents per set of three, and quickly load the saved bet. Let's spin again. As you'll notice, most times we'll win naturally on the first shot, precisely 89% of the time. What do we earn? Well, we only gain 10 cents per spin, betting a total of 1 euro and 10 cents and making back 1 euro and 20 cents. 
It's minimal, especially considering we're utilizing a 146 euro budget to make just 10 cents per spin. However, that's the price for such high winning odds. To reiterate, we have an 89% chance to win on the first spin, and specifically a 10.8% chance of losing. In that 10%, we counter with a bet that has an 89% winning chance to recover our loss. That means we have around a 1.186% chance of facing two consecutive losses. But with this budget, we can even afford a third setback should the second fail. In such an event, we'd increase the bet again, putting €12.10 on each set of three, having an 89% chance of winning. This results in a mere 0.12% chance of losing thrice in a row. Essentially, this offers us a 99.87% winning probability with two setbacks. Fascinating system, isn't it? In reality, it's one of the systems with the highest short-term winning percentage in casino games, perhaps the highest in roulette. However, there are crucial points to discuss. Firstly, the 0.12% chance of loss is low, but it's not zero. If you play short-term, it's rare to face it. But in the long run, it might strike. When it does, it's severe, as you're gambling significant amounts. Which brings us to this game's second problem. The first round wins you 10 cents with a 1 euro and 10 cents stake. If you lose, you bet 12 euros and 10 cents. Lose again, and you're putting down 133 euros and 10 cents. That's the pain point here. You're risking 133 euros just to recoup a mere 10 cents. But as earlier mentioned, that's the price for such high winning odds. Then there's the fact you're really winning peanuts each spin. We're gaining just 10 cents each time, so the balance increases, albeit very slowly. If I were playing with 1 euro instead of 10 cents, with a budget just for one setback rather than two, I'd win 10 times more. This budget would suffice without going to the third setback, and from a 99.9% .9 winning probability, it had dropped to 98.84%, so not a drastic shift after all. Alright, now I'll speed up the gameplay a bit and let's see what unfolds. Here we are. After about 7 minutes of total playtime, I've reached 151 euros and 30 cents, making a clean 5 euros. Essentially, I made less than 1 euro per minute. So, it's evident with this method, since I'm betting with a base stake of 10 cents, winnings accumulate slowly. The looming risk is always there, though very rare, of having to bet 133 euros just to recover one. In my opinion, I'm unsure if it's worth allowing two setbacks in a row instead of just one. As mentioned earlier, if we played with a base bet of one euro and allowed only one setback, this round would have yielded 50 euros profit instead of just five, using the same initial budget. And our loss probability would only decrease by about 1%, not a significant amount. In summary, in my view, this method is quite ingenious and enjoyable to play, but the risks remain inevitable. So, it doesn't make much sense to me to earn 10 times less in the short term just for an added 1% chance of winning. In my opinion, the sweet spot between risk and reward is doing only one setback instead of two, making 10 times more money than what we were doing earlier. But everyone has different preferences. Either way, I definitely think this method is fire. The key is always being aware of the risks and having fun while playing. What do you think of this system? Let me know in the comments below and I will try to reply to everyone. I also remind you that in the link in the description, you can find a list of safe and certified online casinos in your country, which I recommend using if you want peace of mind and to avoid scams, rigged games, or even playing in illegal casinos in your country and having trouble with the law. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon, ninjas.